Well, Darren, I, I'm the club chaplain. I'm supposed to be a man of faith, but I must admit, 1-0 down at half-time, Gateshead doing very well, Reese Brown got off injured. I was struggling a bit at half-time, and uh, the players came out, you proved us wrong. It was a tremendous performance, the whole game, but a tremendous victory on the road here at Gateshead. You, talk us through the game and how you saw it, saw it go. I thought they were great first half. I thought they were really, really good. We were very um, unfortunate with Reese um, with his injury. I thought Corbauer was excellent. Yeah. You know, really excellent. Yeah. And uh, at half time, the only message was come, let's show some endurance to this mentality. Let's see this through, and it will, it will break. And it's very easy for the players when they're looking around the dressing room at the minute to look, you know, for maybe a, a get out. But you know, they were excellent. And the faith they had in players like Akinola out of position, Bradshaw, yeah, yeah. first game. Um, Corbella, I thought it was was really good, really good. But we've had through this period, we've had to fight for any, anything and everything, and sometimes fighting hasn't been enough. Quality takes over at times, which I felt last week. Um, but we're, you know, we're alive and kicking, and we'll, we'll keep rolling our sleeves up um, and showing you know real good. If you like. Darren Soul qualities in my teams until we have the benefit of you know a greater selection, especially in midfield. Yeah. The players deserve enormous credit. You know, enormous credit to me. Yeah. Yeah. And we noticed during the commentary our players came out, it seemed like almost five minutes before the Gateshead players came out. Was that more from our side, just to, like almost a message of intent? Let's just get no. out there and get on with it. No, no, no. We, there's no point sitting in the dressing room. Once you say what you're going to say, yeah. get up, get out. The dressing rooms are really hot. Get on the pitch, talk, move, start getting your bodies ready. There was nothing else they could have done. There was nothing. We changed tactically midway through the first half um, uh, at a specific time. I thought that helped us. I thought in particular it helped Bradshaw. How do we how do we change then? What was the change? Well, you'll have to be bright enough to identify that yourself. <laughs> I'm, not, uh, I'm not revealing those things. But oh. we, we made changes to affect the flow of the game. Yeah. And, it, and it helped some individuals. And we're learning about Zach in particular and Tunji in that position. We're learning minute by minute, kick by kick, second by second. So sometimes you have to make some adaptation. We made that adaptation. I thought it was a strong um, switch tactically. And it just... It allowed us to press a little bit more aggressively and it allowed us to um, have greater contact on the ball carrier. And through that, then we can get momentum. Through that, we can get territory. Through that, we can create a storm of intensity. It's very hard to play against. And that's what we are. That's what we've always been. Sometimes we can't deliver it at the moment because of the personnel. Um, but the players certainly did today. As you say, the first half performance went well. But the second half, it did seem, you know, whether it was a tactical change or whatever, we re really were in their faces a lot. It seemed to be a lot quicker and I, I just thought we not had, letting them settle. I just thought we, we had as many, we had maybe more chances first half from the regain. Second half, we just did better with the regain, you know, and so it can look in one sense that in one half of the game you don't score a goal and in the other half you make you score three goals and it can... It can be the reason why you draw to conclusion that you're better in one half than the other. I don't say it like that in any way, shape or form. I just thought we did absolutely brilliant with some of them turnovers um, in the second half. And we were we were some quality away in the first half from making use of those turnovers. So, and I thought, you know, the, the two the two passes for the first two goals were yeah. exceptional. But the grit and attitude for the third one, when everyone is on their feet, you know, having making that early change in this league where they still won't advance with substitutions and how many substitutes you can have, which is ridiculous. They were able to be fresher later because of their changes. And the, um, but I thought the, the determination of the players, the tactical discipline of the players was, was very, very good. And that third goal to me is unsensational in its 
perception like Armand's goal, Kellerman's goal, was as good if not better because of the, the discipline and the implementation of how we play. So I was really pleased with that and obviously Bradshaw showed real composure um, to, to finish and I always thought we needed that third one. So it was, um, I think the two halves are very similar in performance level with, uh, with obviously a greater product in the second half than the first. Mm. And as you say, I mean, memories I'll take away were, you know, Ricky Corbeau's pass for Podger's goal, which was dinked beautifully o over the defender. And obviously for any young player to score on their debut must be, for him personally, will be, you know... Yeah, it'll be a, a good day for him. A good day yeah. for him, and he did well. Hey, um, he's excellent. You know, I said I said to him um, this morning, I said, you'll never have worked as hard as you will do this afternoon. <laughs> And I always say that to new players, and they always look at you. Brown said it to me when I, when he joined, or looked at me like that when he joined. They all look at me like that. You think, mm, I've worked hard. And tonight, he, <laughs> he won't be had a move, but he worked very hard. He showed a lot of character yeah. for 19 years old. He showed a lot of discipline, and yeah. also th very thankful for Ipswich, because throughout my recruitment phase in the last 10 days to try and um, support us in especially in midfield it's been very very tough yeah. and there's not been many willing participants sometimes from a player standpoint sometimes from a club but Ipswich were very very efficient very quick very um, professional and um, they've helped us win today that's what they've done and that's how important it is for us to carry on recruiting and we'll need to now it will be a busy 24 hours I believe now right brilliant well Brilliant today. A lot of fans, well, all the fans here will be going back happy. Those who watch on TV, I'm sure the coach will be happy. And then on to Monday, and it all starts again, I suppose, against no, Dorking with the, a bigger, big crowd there, hopefully. The players wanted me to reiterate their thanks to our supporters. They were brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. And, you know, we, I said this all the time last year, we're, we're not going to become millionaires from earning our living at Woking, but that little bit of salvation at the end of our supporters goes a hell of a long way. Yeah, brilliant. Well, well done, Darren. Safe trip home. And Thank you.